Though it faces isolation on the international stage, Taiwan has an effective diplomatic tool in the form of its rich culture. Two Taiwanese men have achieved considerable success using music to promote Taiwan abroad. One, Zhao Yunhua, is a former counselor with Taiwan's representative office in Japan. Another, Tang Yuxing, is a Golden Melody award-winning Hakka singer who was once involved in Central American trade. Both Zhao and Tang loved music from a young age, and they maintained their passion for music even after entering the field of foreign affairs. During tense diplomatic negotiations, they relied on their musical talent to break down barriers and form friendships. Our Sunday In-Depth Report. Tang Yuxin is singing on stage. Born to a Hakka family in Miaoli, he was nine years old when his family moved to Paraguay. My father dreamed of going abroad to make a living. When I was young, he was working on a farm. He wanted to travel overseas to work in agriculture, so he moved to Paraguay with a group of his good friends. After he arrived in Paraguay with his family, Tang took the Spanish name Tito. In middle school, Tang, who loved singing from an early age, formed a band with some of his classmates. They sang Latin folk songs. He was the only Asian face among more than 1,000 who participated in a singing competition hosted by a local Paraguayan TV station. For my first appearance on stage, I chose to sing a song by Teresa Dung. But then I became worried that nobody would understand the Chinese lyrics. So I ended up translating her lyrics into Spanish. In the 1990s, Tito returned to Taiwan for college. He supported himself with part-time work and set up Taiwan's first Latin band in which he was the lead singer. They played frequently at many of Taiwan's biggest pubs. But in the beginning, Taiwanese were unfamiliar with Latin music and Tito's band was not popular. Later on, Ricky Martin became popular in 1997, introducing Latin songs to the rest of the world. His music is a fusion of many different types of Latin music and helped the public to appreciate music with non-mainstream influences. After graduating from college, Tito chose not to pursue a career as a singer and said he decided to join forces with Jeffrey Gu Sr., then chairman of the Chinese International Economic Cooperation Association, in the field of international trade and diplomacy. My colleagues and I used to throw a big party around the time of the Lunar New Year. Chairman Gu took charge, and we invited officials, business people, and diplomats from Latin American countries who were stationed in Taiwan. Everyone dined together and enjoyed entertainment afterwards. We always sang Latin songs together with a bunch of our Latin American friends, many of whom were deeply moved, sometimes to tears. This type of soft diplomacy using music to form friendships is a useful skill for diplomats from countries like Taiwan that lack international standing. It can help leave a lasting impression and shorten the physical and cultural gap between a country and its allies. Zhao Yunhua is a jazz pianist from Taiwan. He specializes in combining classical and jazz styles and has been invited on many occasions to perform in Japan. The development of jazz music in Japan began after the end of World War II. Popular music at the time often used the blues style and included Tokyo blues. It was from there that jazz began to take off. The Japanese media all refer to Zhao as a music diplomat because of his previous job as a counselor in the Taiwan de facto embassy in Japan. In the 1970s, after graduating from the Japanese department at Damjang University, Zhao chose to train as a concert pianist and he played at many jazz bars around the island. Zhao earned plenty of money from his performances, but he didn't feel as though he was exposed to the outside world. Then, when he was 35 years old, he took the foreign service exam. With this, his life took an abrupt turn. You're a public servant, going to work at 9 and getting off at 5. Your schedule is set. It's not like when I was playing concerts for a living, practicing during the day and working at night. Because of his language skills, Zhao passed the extremely competitive foreign service exam and was sent to Japan. 
at one get-together for diplomats and journalists. He even performed for his peers, blowing them away with his incredible talent. 就他的专长是翻译，那我呢是在钢琴方面大师的跟我讲。The ambassador said to me, "You have real artistic talent and should express it. Culture and art are really important, especially in the field of diplomacy." From this point on, Zhao performed regularly at official banquets, where he had the important responsibility of using music to lend atmosphere and spice to the occasions. Several years ago, Zhao retired to Taiwan, where he formed a group with some of the island's top jazz musicians. He and his group have held performances to raise money for Syrian refugees, and have even composed a piece commemorating the 120th anniversary of Zhenghua Post. In 2012, Tang Yuxin released his album Two Worlds, in which he employs a Latin musical style to accompany lyrics in the Hakka dialect. This unique fusion of genres won him a Golden Melody Award and a reputation as a top singer of Hakka songs. When I'm making so-called Hakka music, I'm actually trying to make music with a foreign flavor to make that flavor appear subtly in my Hakka songs. Music can let us connect with the world. It allows foreigners to experience our musical culture and lets us experience their culture. So there. So-called flexible diplomacy is embodied in our music. It is using music to advance diplomacy. I believe that this approach can improve international relations. Tang Yuxin and Zhao Yunhua are diplomats who have traveled the world using their talents, not only to make the world listen to their music, but to let it see Taiwan.